The ratio we'll be using to look at the stability of a business is called the debt ratio or gearing. And it's based on the concept that every asset that's bought by a business or a person is financed with either external funds, which we call liabilities or debt, or internal funds, which is called owner's equity. So take business one that bought a $25,000 vehicle and they've used $10,000 of borrowed money to do it and $15,000 of their own cash. So in their balance sheet, they show assets of 25, liabilities of 10, and owner's equity of 15. And that would show up in the accounting equation as one side being assets of 25 and the other two equaling as 10 and 15. Let's compare that to business two, who's bought the same model car for 25,000, but they've borrowed $20,000 and only used 5,000 of their own money. So their balance sheet would be assets are still 25, but the liabilities are 20 and owner's equity of five, which flows through to their accounting equation. So how would we look at this and which business would you rather be? Well, based on the assets, they're the same. They both own the same amount of assets. Where they're different is in their liabilities. So business A has half the liabilities of business B. That means that their equity is very different. So for business uh, one, their owner's equity is 15,000, but for business two, the owner's equity is 5,000. So the ratio that's going to help us um, determine which business is less risky is called the debt ratio and basically analyzes whether a business finances the purchase of its assets with either external funds or debt versus internal funds or equity. So to take an example, we calculate it as total liabilities divided by total assets. So that's all current and non-current for both sections. And in this case, we've got liabilities of 75,000 and this business has assets of 250,000, that would be a ratio of 30%. So what does that mean? This means that for every dollar of assets the business has, 30 cents have been financed from liabilities, which must mean that 70% has been financed from owner's equity. So to explain it, we would say 30% of the firm's total assets have been financed with external funds or liabilities rather than internal funds or owner's equity. If that ratio was to go down from 30%, so that meant that the uh, liabilities represented 30 cents of every asset at uh, dollar of assets. If that went down to 15%, so liabilities now are only 15% of total assets and owner's equity is 85%, that's a good trend. That business is more stable, has less debt, and uh, its assets have been purchased with less external funds. If the debt ratio went up to 78%, that's a bad trend. We'd say the liabilities now represent 78 cents in every dollar of assets, and that leaves only 22 cents of owner's equity. So we've got a negative result. We'd say the firm is less stable, it has more debt, uh, has been used to finance its purchase of assets. A really good uh, real world example of this is Lehman Brothers. So we've looked at it a few times throughout the year. We can see that their total assets by 2007 was 691 billion. Um, obviously a very big company. We also know that its net profit was 4.2 billion in the year before it went bankrupt and it had grown significantly over the previous seven years. So one of the reasons why it went broke is the concept of the debt ratio or gearing because assets are good so we just show the assets for every year but we'd also like to look at the liabilities. So you can see in 2001 there were 247 billion of assets but also 239 billion dollars of liabilities. That continued into 2002 and three and four and five and six and seven, where basically every year the total amount of assets was pretty much always financed by the total amount of liabilities. So liabilities are being used to purchase all of their assets. So looking at these specific numbers, we can see every year um, liabilities represent a huge proportion of assets. Well, what we can do is calculate the debt ratio by taking the total liabilities for each year divided by the total assets. So if we did that, we'll see that in the seven years before Lehman Brothers went broke, bearing in mind its assets went up a lot and it was a very uh, profitable company in terms of its net profit. However, its debt ratio showed that it was a very risky and unstable company because over 96% of its assets were finan financed with external debt in 2001. And going forward, it didn't get any better. Every year it was very, very high. And by 2007, 96.7% of every uh, dollar of assets was financed with liabilities. And that creates a lot of pressure because debt has interest and debt requires repayment every month. And that puts a lot of pressure on a business to continually generate cash 
and when it can't it's going to go broke and that's what happened to lehman brothers.